May I help you? Oh. Wait, you must be. I'm sorry, but the business was yes, but Quen left me explicit instructions about this. He's in the middle of a delicate negotiation to triple his profits on the sale of a rare Delta Quadrant artifact, and cannot be disturbed. Maybe, let's see, it was something... Krenim, I think? Oh, Delta Quadrant treasures are all the rage right now. Artifacts from cultures the Vatwar wiped out are particularly valuable. Quen's made quite a bit of latinum bringing them back through the gateways. Now, that profit-sharing plan he promised me hasn't materialized, but is it my place to complain? I'm sorry, but my instructions were very clear. Well, I'm sorry, but I need this job. I'm trying to save up enough for a ticket off this... You, you can? What am I saying? You have a starship, of course you can. Go on ahead. Quen and the other buyer are in the cargo bay, but you better hurry. They were trying to get the deal finalized before you could stop them. Thank you. Thank you so much.
not so fast. The gentleman with the rather imposing associates over there has just made a very competitive offer for the device. Care to make a counter bid? You said there weren't any other buyers, Quinn. Now what do I see? Starfleet stooges here to cause trouble. Guards, get these riffraff out of here so I can conclude my deal in peace. those guards to my off. Hold it! I am Nog, son of Grand Nagus Rom. And I am a Ferengi. And when you deal with these people, you deal with me. Uh, you have a choice. Either deal with me, or I ask my father to have a word with the liquidators about your poor business practice. Um, well, I'm sure we can come to an understanding. That's what I thought. Now, Kiss the staff. Get out! Not you. Here's my best offer. How about we agree on a price? And you get your Delta Quadrant do that, and I leave. No? Fine. How about I answer your questions and maybe then I get to leave? But let's get on with it. Every minute I stand here, I'm losing a strip of black now. Time is a very value. The device is Krenum in origin. Specifically, it's from the Krenum Imperium. Constructed sometime in the mid-22nd century, if I had to take a guess. Strange piece of technology. I haven't seen anything else like it. Highly advanced. And it has hallmarks of Krenum work. But it's, uh... Definitely odd. The Vodlar, that's what. At one point, the Krenum Imperium held more than 200 star systems in the Delta Quadrant. They lost some of that territory in a couple wars, but overall they were doing well. Not the biggest business in the Quadrant, but not the smallest either. When the Vodlar started their war, Gaul took a special interest in the Krenum. Bombed him back, I picked it up from a Talaxian who wanted to trade for supplies. He told me he got it from the, uh, Kayana system. That was it. There used to be a Krenum colony there, but it's gone now, just like the rest of their empire. The Talaxian wasn't very clear on that. He just said, gone. If I'd asked any more questions, he might have increased his price. As a show of good faith to the son of the Nagus, I'm willing to tell you for free. But don't let this get around. It would ruin my reputation as a businessman. The device emits some unusual energy readings. The shielding may have malfunctioned. Maybe it's not fully operational anymore. I'm not sure. But that's why I'm selling it as an antique. As is, and no refunds. Do 
I look like a member of the Vulcan Science Academy to you? I don't know. It's yours now. You paid for it. You figure it out. I hope it doesn't blow up your ship. <laughs> now, may I go so we can put all this unpleasantness behind us? I want to drown my sorrows in a common cocktail and think about all the profit I didn't earn today. Let the staff of Arbus and these good looks fool you. <laughs> I'm here as a Starfleet officer, and I don't normally flaunt my family connections, but in this case, it seemed like the best way to solve the problem. So I borrowed my dad's second best staff. Interesting. I know Voyager encountered the Krenum during the journey, and Tuvok was looking for survivors of the Vaudoir purchase. For now, though, perhaps we should concentrate on learning what we can from this device. Quinn left without taking down his security, but fortunately I know how to get around it. This isn't a very sophisticated system. It's hard to work with. <laughs> if we overload the EPS conduit, we'll create a cascade failure in the system that the control protocols won't be able to handle. That should drop a portion. I think you can overload the EPS conduits in the corner there. Now that the power flow is disrupted, we can override the administrative access requirement. Also see. 